Hi everybody! I'm Amor Maximo and I'm just a random person trying to share how beautiful life is. Today we're gonna talk about the importance of having good communication skills. So if you're up for it, let's go! This is one of the things that is usually asked via my Facebook page or um, when I have my workshops, especially those who want to apply as a flight attendant, how important it is to have uh, good communication skills, etc, 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 etc. I always say the same thing, but this time I invite a friend <laughs> to further elaborate on it. Uh, she is somebody, somebody that I have known since I have started my flying career. Why? Because she is more senior than I am. Now, na siya sa akin sa airline, ba? Just for one year, naman. So, in domestic flying, naman, we fly a lot until, of course, um, uh, we have blossomed. Wow, blossomed. We have blossomed, blossomed into our own individual careers. And she's one of the people that I actually admire. Uh, sobrang uh, believe, believe. I admire. She inspires me with the things that I do because she has transitioned from being a cabin crew to being in the training department, to becoming a manager, uh, to doing what she does now. And uh, she has, kumbaga, stepped out of the box of the airline industry. Uh, you can see her, well, you know what? I'll just leave the floor to Rosie. Rosie, go ahead. <laughs> I have a day job. I have been with the airline for 15 years already. I'm also a freelance host and I also do postings for brands on my socials. And uh, when I was still with Cabin Services before, my job was heavily involved with hiring and training flight attendants. And when I am hiring for a flight attendant, of course, I would like that the person to have good communication skills. But what do I mean? with good communication skills for hiring flight attendants. I would like them to be able to get the message across clearly. I don't mean for them to have a twang or to have perfect grammar. You know, those things, those are technicals. But what's important is they get the message across clearly and it won't be misconstrued by others. So how do you do that? You also use non-verbals, right? And your body language says a lot too. For example, I'm telling you, Maganda ka. But you know, I say it like that. It doesn't sound nice. It doesn't sound sincere. But when you say, Maganda ka. Maganda ka. It's different. Right? Yeah, that's what I mean when I say that they have to get the message across clearly and without being misconstrued. Okay? And then uh, for the other questions here that we have, what can students do now to improve? As early as now, what you can do is to listen to constructive criticism. But if you know you're not that confident yet to ask a friend to critique how you speak, you can do it yourself. What you can do is record your voice or like this, vid videotape. Oh my gosh, my age is showing. You can take a video of yourself using your phone and then watch yourself and then look closely. What am I mispronouncing? Did I say this right? Something like that. Okay, so you can do that. Or maybe eventually, when you are confident enough, you can ask someone to tell you what the things are that you can still improve. Like Amor, for example. You know, I also do that. I coach on the side. And then what advice can you give to graduates, professionals, to further improve their skills? I would say take a lesson. There are a lot available online and most of them are for free. If you are really willing to learn, I'm sure that there is a material out there that is available for you. Like what Amor is doing right now. You are already learning, you know, the things that you can do on your own, right? So I hope that uh, you enjoy this one and uh, I wish you all the best in all your endeavors. Thank you for watching Amor's YouTube video. Alright, so a lot of insights from Rosie. Like what I said earlier, ayun, nagkakilala kami kasi we used to fly together tapos nag-transition siya sa other department and now she has her own social media things. Things, plural, because you can see her on Shopee, you can see her on events, like events by uh, big company events because she hosted. 
she is also a speaker at times i know uh, I, I know she also like what she said she mentors at kung may hope buddies kayo isa siya sa mga tanod ni kapitana <laughs> as in sabi ko wow proud friend <laughs> kilala ko to tanod ni kapitana represent and as in, she's everywhere and yun nga like what i said she's the, one of the people that, that i admire and wow wow galing ang galing ang galing na uh, kumbaga by seeing her succeed in the in these different fields uh, inspires me along us our mga friends uh, other na other people na kilala sa kanya to, to continue to continue moving forward to keep on doing what we are doing especially we know that we are trying to help as well and uh, succeed in our own path ayun so diba <laughs> napalayo but uh, going back to communication skills yes ayan ha Ano na yan? Trainer na nagsabi niya. It's very important. And those little hints, those are the same things that I say. Uh, pero may maganda siyang na-mention kagad na we should also focus on other than the intonation and how we say things. Maganda ka. Maganda ka. <laughs> but also our non-verbals. Uh, it, it's, uh, those are the little things that uh, if you are the listener, if you are the one receiving the message, feel mo yung sincerity, yung excitement, how true it is. Sometimes, pag nakikinig tayo ng mga, ng mga nagsasalita, di ba? Parang, ay grabe, sobrang passionate siya. Paano natin yung nararamdaman na passionate siya sa sinasabi niya? It's how they say it. It's how they act while they're talking. Uh, those little things, when we put them all together, ayan, it's, uh, it completes the package. Sabi niya, the most, one of the most important things is to be able to convey the message. I totally agree. Uh, if you get an accent, that's secondary. If you have, uh, if you have perfected your grammar, that's great. Uh, ako naman, I agree with that, and sinasabi ko din na uh, I also put emphasis. Uh, while you're young, that's one of the first things that you can learn is uh, learning the proper grammar. I say that because by being confident with your grammar. It will help you convey the message better. Kung baga ba bagsak din sa sinabi ni Rosie, yun din yung point. Uh, kaya sinasabi ko siya, lalo na sa mga studyante, kasi while you are a student, that's the perfect time to learn those things. Kasi yun yung tinuturo sa inyo sa school eh. Sabi ko nga, hindi niya na kailangan maghanap pa ng tumingin sa malayo. Yung tinuturo sa school, that's more than enough. Because why? Diyan lang din naman ako natuto, diyan lang din natuto yung... Hindi nga lang, hindi lang eh. Diyan natuto talaga ang nakararami sa atin. And we just uh, continued learning. How? Tulad ng sinabi ni Rosie, a lot of online lessons. Ayan, totoo yan, daming suggestions. Or find the support group. And thank you, thank you, Rosie. Yan din yung mga isa sa mga bagay na masingit ko lang. Kaya meron kaming Team Exceptional na Facebook group. We have the Team Exceptional Facebook group. That's a group of former workshop attendees. Pero hindi lang yun. Actually, anybody can listen and most of it uh, can join in. And most of the members are students. Bakit? Binibigyan natin sila yung mga membro ng pagkakataon na magkaroon ng boses, na magkaroon ng lugar kung saan pwede kang mag-insayo, mag-grow, mag-practice, mag-try ng new things na hindi ka gina-judge. Yun yung binanggit ni Rosie, di ba? If you sometimes are shy, uh, hindi mo alam kung kanino ka magpapatulong or baka mag-practice ka, hindi mo alam kung ano masasabi sa'yo. Well, dun sa group, ay... Bawal, bawal nega. Uh, everybody is accepted. Meron nga kaming ano, uh, English policy. So, English only policy. Na wherein we talk in English twice a week. Para yung mga gusto mag-practice. Ayan, practice. And kami-kami nagtutulungan. Sinabi rin ni Rosie, di ba? Learn to accept criticism. Oh, isn't that part of it? Yun yung part ng group eh. Pag meron kang may message, tas, ay, siguro pwede mo to i-improve pag ito yung ginamit mong tense. Ito yung ginamit mong word. Those little things that if we continuously practice or if we continuously absorb them, maalala at maalala natin yan whenever we try to communicate with other people. O para mas magbigay tayo ng confidence, para lumawak ang vocabulary natin. And in short, the more and the easier that we can convey the message that we want others to hear. Oh, di, di ba? Connect, connect lahat. Bottom line, it's the same thing. As long as you practice, be confident, and work on it. 
Ayan, nako, nako, maraming salamat, Rosie. It's such a, it's such an honor. <laughs> it's such an honor that that you spared a few minutes on my page on on this video. So, maraming salamat to everybody out there. Feeling good, good feeling. Dance more, wear less, live free. See you next time.